Welcome back to Fugis Blitz, and this is another impromptu video. This time we're looking at modifications, and we're only looking at one game, because these are impromptu modifications. They weren't asked for, they weren't even um, downloaded or modified by the player. This is my good friend and uh, clanmate, Wid, who's rolling out in the Spaghettio. Great little tank. Obviously, its real name is the Progetto 65, and he's sporting the Gladiator Camouflage. It's the Tier 10 Auto Loading Auto Loader, or Reload, or Auto Load, or what's it called? Auto Loader, Reloader, or Reloading Auto Loader. It's got three bloody clips, and they reload after you shoot. That's what you need to know. And, you know, he's on this map, Desert Sands, in a Supremacy game. He's capping out here. And he's he's set for a good old battle, and you know it's just the way this rolls. This game sometimes. Now the thing is, recently Wargaming have added new effects to the game, and they look great. You know, there's better tracer, bigger blasts. There's things flying all over the place, and they look good. They really do. However they can also come and bite you in the posterior when you least expect it. So at this moment in time, Weird not done too much other than capped a base. He's rolling around in his spaghettio and he's looking to sort of get involved in some action. This team have already lost three tanks, but the other team have also lost three tanks too. Now he's found the Death Star. He's going to smack three into the Death Star all in a row. Boom, and then get out of there so the Death Star can't kill me. So he's done just over 1300 damage, takes a bit of a smack there from an IS, not to worry, he's getting out of dodge, and he's going to go round the back of the sea cap. No, he's decided against that, and it's, you know, it's so far the teams are even, three against three. He's going to roll around this corner, maybe, oh no, that T57 heavy is there, stopping him doing anything. There comes a the WZ, smack him, track him, smack him again, he's having a good roll here, tracked him again. Or WZ, the T57 Heavy is looking for some kills. Oh, and he, tra he gets the WZ even more. And now his T57 Heavy is coming in to help him out. But the T57 Heavy gets blown away, and with then sports a brand new look in his Spaghettio. It's called the Spaghettio T57 Turret Look. <laughs> that is an impromptu modification. And wowzers. What can I say? I mean, it looks good. But it killed him. He was killed by his own player's flying turret. Oh my giddy aunt. And it's one against one. And guess what? They lose the game. Oh my giddy aunt. And Witt didn't actually do too badly there. As you can see, he, uh, he did okay. Let's have a look at that in super slow-mo. T57, there goes the turret, lands firmly on top of the Spaghettio, and watch his health just drain away. Oh, bless him. Unfortunately, he goes into sniper mode trying to kill, um, but look at the, look at the hit points just rolling around. Oh, and there we go. He gets smacked left, right, and center. He can't do anything about it. Killed by the T-57 Heavy. Actually killed by two T-57 Heavies. By his own teammate. And by the red T-57 Heavy. And that was good fun. Anyway, that's just been a quick video. A bit of a lark. Poor old Wid1 gets blasted into oblivion by, well, a friendly fire turret. Interesting. So as I said, modifications. They look neat. You know, it, it looks cool having flying things and all that sort of stuff, but it can come back to bite you as Wid found out to his peril. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been a bit of a light-hearted video. Poor old Wid won. Uh, coming a bit of a cropper there. Not to worry, it happens to the best of us. It will teach him, as I said in a video earlier, 
to avoid these flying turrets. And as you, if you watched the video earlier of Wid in the OP tank or OP player, he certainly gets out of the way of the IS-7 turret because he learned his lesson. So be that a learning curve for everybody. Be careful of flying turrets. They look cool, but they can bite you in the backside. Uh, by all means, comment and everything below if you want to. Please press subscribe. It's a lovely thing to do. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can do become a patron. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and all that sort of jazz. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. And avoid those flying turrets, because that's what it's all about. Be having fun and being happy and not being killed by a flying turret.